Hello, I'm Barry Shore, Professor Emeritus at the University of New Hampshire and Head of Content Development here at SSGI. The popularity of ChatGPT raises an interesting question. How useful is this new tool in Lean Six Sigma? And more specifically, how useful is it in DMAIC? DMAIC is an acronym used in Lean Six Sigma to guide a project from beginning to end. It defines the steps that professionals follow when engaged in a Lean Six Sigma project. They include define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. As many of you already know, you enter a question into the chat GPT text box, and it scours the internet for related data and then builds a response. In many, if not most situations, that response is quite credible. The challenge is this. Can chat GPT help us to undertake a credible job in addressing domaic issues? And if so, what are some examples? First, we turn to define. Here are examples of the type of questions that may be asked as we prepare a definition statement. They are the kinds of questions that help to ensure a sufficiently broad, yet practically feasible statement. Should a value stream map be included in the defined stage of a Six Sigma project? What are the most likely causes of order delays? What are the five most likely causes of a hospital-acquired infection? Five reasons that explain supply chain shortages. Where should we look to explain a decline in customer satisfaction? Measure. What is the critical step in measuring the extent of a problem? How often should vendor performance be measured? How do you measure vendor quality? How can you measure employee engagement? How can supply chain resilience be measured? Give me an example of an employee engagement survey. In fact, if you enter this last question in, you'll find that the answer is quite good. Analyze. How should I analyze data on customer satisfaction? Oh, the response was okay, but not great. How can I analyze the results of a study to determine if process productivity is greater for Group A than it is for Group B? How can hypothesis testing be used to analyze the difference between two alternatives? Is it enough to compare the mean of two groups to determine if they are different? Actually, the answer here was quite good. What is the best way to analyze workplace performance? Again. A very credible answer. Is there a downside to measuring the number of keystrokes when managing a customer service department? Once again, a very good response. Improve. What steps should be taken to eliminate process delays? What is the easiest way to improve cycle time in an assembly operation? How can customer relations be improved can a Kanban chart help improve process throughput? How does resistance to change affect process improvement? Finally, control. How can a control chart be designed to monitor process rejects? Is it always necessary to create a control chart when monitoring an assembly process? To monitor absenteeism, what type of chart should be used if a process is in control, does that mean its CPK is greater than one? Actually, the answer here was quite good also. Can Pokayoke improve process control? Again, an excellent response. So be careful. Not all the answers to our questions, nor all the knowledge we gain from a chat GPT query are reliable. Some are better than others. Here are some examples. Suppose we enter the following query into the chat GPT text box. Can a quality control chart be used when the sample size is one? 
ChatGPT tells us that we cannot. But the reality is that IMR charts are specifically designed to deal with this situation, so ChatGPT is wrong. But now let's ask ChatGPT to define an IMR chart. It tells us that the purpose of the chart is to plot process means. This is misleading at best since the chart is used to plot individual values. In fact, the I in IMR stands for individual. The lesson is clear. While ChatGPT is very helpful in many areas and may help us broaden our perspective, it may be inappropriate to use it in other areas. So it is important to verify the results, especially when there's math or statistics involved. This has been a brief introduction, suggesting how we might use ChatGPT to ensure a robust and feasible plan when addressing process problems and opportunities. Not only is ChatGPT interesting, but it reveals another tool that helps us move toward more efficient and competitive processes. To build your career in this direction, you might consider professional credentials in Lean Six Sigma. SSGI offers many certification courses, including yellow, green, black, and master black belts. In addition, we offer a wide variety of courses in process management and leadership. Let us help you make an investment in your future. We hope you found this presentation helpful. Thanks for watching.